Hey, um, I just finished listening to the uh, Indigenous Peoples Message to the World um, audio and I thought it was really, really interesting, especially since recently I've wanted to really like dig into Indigenous Peoples studies and things of that nature. Um, I know like basic, I have basic understanding of like things, but I don't know like you know, mounds of information on it like I'd like to. So this almost kind of made me feel like, you know, uh, eager, I guess, to kind of start doing that. Um, uh, I really have, I guess, two main things that I, that stood out to me when I listened to it. And the first one is kind of like the basic one that everyone knows, you know, or everyone should know, I guess, about just Indigenous peoples. And it's the fact that uh, they're very peace-centered, you know, they approach this conversation, they've approached this conversation the same. Uh, they've never changed the way that they approach it, and it's peacefully, right? They have the perspective of wanting, of wanting to coexist, and just wanting to be able to live alongside each other and respect each other. Um, and that's one thing that I love, and you see it, you hear it, you know, throughout the whole thing. Um, and I, I really enjoyed just like the whole, just, uh, you know, I guess you can say they're, I don't know what you'd want to call them, the chants, the songs, and, and just the things that you hear. Um, it made me want to like, just look up, you know, I wish I knew, you know, what they were saying, uh, the meaning behind like, uh, the things they were singing, uh, the sounds, the, the instruments and all that stuff. Um, and I, I mean, there's a reason that they, they have that and they have those long, you know, seconds, minutes of just the songs and the music and the chanting and the singing. I mean, there's a reason for that. Um, and so that's something that I just really liked. But I think there's something to say about how they approach it. Um, I think the second thing that stood out to me, or I don't know if it's like a point, but it's more just like a question, is like, you know, one of the things that the, the men said was during his speech was like, he mentions the boat and the canoe and how like um, indigenous peoples, they've never stepped into the other person's boat. They've never like crossed that line of disrespecting uh, the boat, right? Um, you know, the white man, I guess is kind of how they say it, right? Um, but we, I said we, but the white man has, you know, they, they've done that. And I guess the question or something that, you know, immediately I was like, okay, I want to research this is like, what is the root cause of this, this, need to be like I'm right you're wrong and I need to fix you you know like what is the root of all of that you know I have like certain ideas of what it could be but I've never really researched what it is you know and I think that's something that I've always wondered is like why can't we all just coexist? Why does there always have to be one way to worship, one way to pray, one way to, you know, eat food, one way to, to dress, one way to just live? Like, why, why is this Eurocentric, you know, idea of like, this is how we live? Like, what is the cause of that? And just like, stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely, I would definitely like to listen to it again. Um, and really hear again what, what they're saying and things of that nature. But, um, you know, when I think of when he said, like, there's the, some of the most dangerous people are the people who have one foot in the canoe and one foot in the boat. And honestly, the first thing I thought was like, just, I mean, these are like regular people, right? Uh, people who say that, like, well, I agree with this, I agree with that, but... You know, there's always a but. Those people who are like, I'm 10% Cherokee, but they're, they know nothing about it. They're disrespectful towards indigenous peoples, right? But then they're like, oh, but I'm, I'm this, I'm that, you know, because they want this sense of culture. They want this sense of like, I, you know, I'm oppressed too. You know, people of that nature, I think 
th those are the people that I thought of when he mentioned people like that. Um, there's a lot of, you know, different types of people that come to mind, but that like, that's like the bigger image. Um, so I guess if there's one thing that I would take from that um, is, okay, um, I'd like to research, you know, the root cause of Eurocentricity, um, the root cause of just this judgment, um, you know, what what's going on right now in our world, um, what are, you know, I mean, this was in what, 1992, so like what's happened since then, uh, things of that nature, so I thought it was a really interesting thing. Um, I'm definitely going to listen to it again, but that's like my immediate thoughts. I know I'm going to turn this off. But I'm gonna be like, oh, I should have said this. I should have, I should have said that like this because a lot of things came to my mind, but that, that's the immediate like thing. Okay. <laughs> Bye.